Hello and thank you for visiting my channel. We are now at day 23 of our adventures before dementia drive through the western half of the United States. Please allow for my raspy, croaky voice due to damaged vocal cords, which I have been informed will repair over time. We're now heading towards Jackson, which is south of Mormons Row. If you look to the left, you may be able to see what looks like deer fencing or elk fencing. That's because we're now passing or driving past the largest elk reserve in the United States. This reserve is just outside the town of Jackson or Jackson's Hole. This reserve holds up to 9,000 elk that uh, rest here over the winter months and seek refuge. Jackson and the surrounding area is known for its wildlife. It's abundant with elk, moose, bison, deer, antelope, mountain lion, grizzlies, black bears and coyotes. Believe it or not, the world's only public auction of elk antlers takes place on the Jackson Town Square, which we'll be looking at shortly, on the third Saturday in May each year. The local scouts collect all the shed antlers out of this refuge to use at the auction. Visitors to Jackson's Hole include people such as Harrison Ford, Sandra Bullock, Brad Pitt and Tiger Woods. Apparently Harrison Ford has his own pilot's license and flies his own plane in and out of the Jackson Hole Airport. Jackson's Hole is in the state of Wyoming. Wyoming is the 10th largest state in the US and yet it has the lowest population. Jackson's Hole was originally named after Davy Jackson, a mountain man who trapped in the area in the late 1800s. Hole was a term used in that day to describe a high mountain valley. So even though we're driving in a valley, we're still well over 6,000 feet above sea level. This archway, made out of elk antlers, consists of approximately 2,000 antlers and weighs around 12,000 pound or 5,000 kilograms. There are four of these arches on this park, one on each corner.
You're walking past the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. It's internationally famous for its Western dining and fabulous entertainment. Countless celebrities, presidents, royalty, cowhands, as well as people from all walks of life have enjoyed great fun within the walls of this iconic Million Dollar Cowboy Bar. There's been a number of films made in Jackson. Some that you may well have heard of is Rocky IV, Dances with Wolves, Brokeback Mountain, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and there are many more. Jackson only has a population of about 10,000 people, but it really explodes during the tourist season. And of course, during the winter, there are plenty of people come here for its uh, popular skiing resorts. Being 6,000 feet above sea level, you can be assured there will always be snow here.
the state of Wyoming came into existence by an act of Congress on July the 25th, 1868. It was carved from sections of Dakota, Utah and Idaho. We're now driving back to our accommodation in West Yellowstone, a few hours away. We've decided to go back a different way through the state of Idaho. On our way back, as we climbed out of the valley, we reached this overlook point. We stopped to have a look at the magnificent views of the valley below us.